Hey everybody, welcome back to Women Carry Knives. On the table in front of us is the Rough Rider 2069 Celestial Series Lockback Traditional Knife. How do you like that? Sweet. All right, this is actually courtesy of Smoky Mountain Knife Works. You guys are going to be seeing, well, you've probably already seen it go away in the giveaway by the time you see this video because I'm actually filming these before the giveaways and not posting anything until after the giveaways. So, but I wanted to give you a closer look at this. Um, these are available at SMKW. I will put a link down in the description. And um, just know that any, I do have an affiliate link with SMKW and all proceeds that are received do go right back into the channel so that I can purchase things to give back to you guys. All right, let's take a look at this gorgeous knife. I love this. First off, I mean, it is just beautiful. Take a look at this. And I don't know that the light's going to do it justice in here. I mean, this is just an absolutely gorgeous knife. So all the Rough Riders um, are all with 440A stainless steel. Um, you do have a mirror polished blade. Let's go ahead and give that a little... A little wipe off there. So you have this beautiful mirror polish blade. I love the fact that they have this, what they've called a blue-green celestial swirled acrylic. I just think that is beautiful. And in the light, um, I don't know if the blues and the greens are going to be showing up as well for you guys. But in the light, like in the daylight, this thing is just beautiful. You have... The, you know, the usual brass liners with this. All your pins are going to be the nickel silver pins. And of course, you are going to have the nicker, nickel silver bolsters. The slant R bolsters. The Rough Rider bolsters. Love that. Um, you do have your matchstick strike poles. Now, this one is a lockback. So it is a two-handed knife, at least for me. Um, it is very strong because it is brand new. There is no half stop on this one, okay? And and most of the time, lockbacks do not have a half stop. But it has got, I mean, I have not seen, I've looked over this, and the fit and finish is really perfect on this. I'm not seeing anything wrong. I'm not seeing anywhere that the acrylic is um, is too sharp. It's very smooth all the way around. It's got a great lock up to it, and I love that. The lock seems to be pretty well centered on there. Um, the blade itself. Now, on lockbacks or on uh, traditionals, you're not always going to have a centered blade. So that is okay. This one, you know, always a little bit off on your slip joints, and that's okay. That's it kind of happens a lot with your slip joints, but it's not going to affect your knife. It's really not, you guys. And this one actually doesn't even touch the side, so you're okay. But this is a fabulous knife. Like I said, the lockup on that is just absolutely wonderful. These are the kind of knives that I love to carry. I love to just drop these ones in my pocket. Um, I tend to carry some kind of a traditional in my car, kind of in the center console. Um, there's almost always one sitting in there. There's sometimes one in my purse. I like to drop those in my purse. These are great for fifth pocket. These are great for just putting in your pocket. You don't have to fifth pocket carry. You can just drop it in your pocket. But slip joints are all around, to me, absolutely wonderful knives. And a slip joint is actually the first knife that I ever had. Um, I, it was not a Rough Rider. And I believe it was just a Victorinox. And it was something that, you know, my father had given me. I'd had used. But I think slip joints are something that everybody should have one. Because just there's something about the old traditional pocket knives that are really wonderful. And the best part about them is it's something that is not going to be offensive if you pull it out of your pocket. You know, most people are familiar with a traditional pocket knife being a slip joint type knife. So if you pull something like this out, um, people are not going to freak out versus if you were to pull something like, you know, the Rat 1 out and you have this ginormous knife. So for those of you that are worried about carrying a knife or you just love the traditionals, I highly suggest getting something that is more um, small. And I do suggest the Rough Riders. These are a great price. I mean, you're looking at, I believe this one was $10, $10. 
And I'm sorry I did not write the price down on it. I would actually have to go back and look that up. But what are you getting on this? I mean, look at this. You're getting a two-inch cutting edge on this thing for something small. And sometimes you don't need a lot of knife. You just need a little bit. That's what makes these absolutely perfect. Okay, your handle length is going to be at three inches, which is going to give you an overall length of just about five and a quarter. So... I'm sorry, the handle length is, yeah, three inches, which gives you the overall length of five and a quarter. And we'll show that one again, okay? So you're absolutely talking about a small knife. Um, most traditionals, I, I shouldn't say most are small. A lot of them are small. Um, I think a lockback, maybe not for the first time knife carrier, just because you want to make sure that they can keep their fingers out of the way. Um, but any other a traditional with a half stop, that would be an absolute fabulous knife for somebody. As I said, it's going to fit in your pocket very, very easily. It's going to be very comfortable. And it's, again, it's something that, um, it, you know, it's not intimidating. And I think that's a big thing is you really don't want something intimidating. Um, I, on the other hand, I don't mind carrying a big knife. I actually work in the electrical construction field. I run the office there, so I'm always carrying a knife. Whether it's big or small, it really doesn't matter um, where I work. You know, if you're working in a public setting where there's a lot more corporate professionalism, I shall put it, maybe not the best place to be carrying something like the rat one giant knife because, you know, as I said, that might have some people freak out. All right, you guys, this has been a look at the Rough Rider Celestial Series, courtesy of Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Thank you so much to, for sending this to me. Um, as I said, by the time this picture posts, um, or this video posts, it will already have been given away in my giveaways. Um, so you guys will have a chance to see it there, too, if you want to. Thank you all so much for joining me. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here all the time. Hit that like button on the way out. It does help my channel. And as always, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section or a question. You know, I love talking to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.